the Donny Stables Maiden Hurdle is next. Um, this is a two mile Maiden Hurdle. Benny the Swinger from Martin Cairns. Brown Sugar Derek Hinton. Diamond Geezer. Graham Clutterbuck. Ifrit. Jay Harrison. The Joke Shop. Or David Robertson and Clemmy Churchill for Paul Rhodes. A field of six. And this is Donny Stables. Hurdle, they're racing and heading towards the first. You'd have thought the Donny Stables hurdle would be a Doncaster, wouldn't you? But it isn't, it's an Ascot. And it's Diamond Giza, the grey. And it's gone into the lead early on. Field of just six as they get over the first. And there'll just be one trainer who goes away with an empty wallet. If they all get round, of course. And Diamond Giza is in the lead. Oh, that Diamond Geezer Grey Clutterbuck. Good to see Grey back involved in everything again after all his health issues of the last season or two. Don't wear yourself out, mate. You keep yourself fresh and a long season to go. And Diamond Geezer is in the lead. Leading by three lengths to Brown Sugar in second. Ifrit on the inside is third. And the Joke Shot fourth. Back to Clemmy Churchill, closest to us, and Benny the Swigger on the inside is the back marker as they get to the second, which they all get over okay. Diamond Geezer in front by about three lengths to Brown Sugar second. They get over that one nicely. Ifrit is in third. Joke shop. Heading to the fourth on the eight flats. Oh, skipped over that one nicely. Just Clemmy Church will find in the pace a little bit hot. There's Diamond Geezer. Continues to lead the joke shot. Move through in a second. Ifrit is third on the inside of Benny the Swinger. Brown Sugar's the one that's dropped. Back a bit now as Clemmy Churchill starts to get a little bit closer. Diamond Geezer having it all his own way at the moment in the lead. Popped over the fifth but he did jump it as quickly as the rest of them and has suddenly been pulled back into the pack and now the joke shop and Clemmy Churchill's just cruised through into a share of the lead here as they make their way towards the final three flights. And Clemmy Churchill ran straight through that one though. Which is not going to do its chances any good. Now Ifrit's come through. And Diamond Geezer's back in front again. So it's all very much after you, Claude, at the front at the moment. But it's Diamond Geezer in the lead. Ifrit's gone into second. Clemmy Churchill now trying to call from that mistake. He's third. Benny the Swinger has moved into fourth. And uh, then Brown Sugar trying to fight back. Joke Shop is the first one to come under serious pressure. Who looks to be pretty much out of it. But it's Diamond Geezer who comes down to the second last with a lead of about four lengths again. Gets over it nicely from Ifrit in second and Clemmy Churchill. Then comes Benny the Swinger and Brown Sugar. They race down towards the final flight then now. And it's Diamond Geezer who's been back in the lead. He's two and a half lengths clear of Ifrit. Over the final flight they go. It's Ben Diamond Geezer in front. Ifrit is trying to close, but I don't think he's making any impression at the moment. There's still a foot on to go there. It's an uphill finish. And it's Diamond Geezer hanging on. Ifrit getting a little bit closer, but Diamond Geezer is hanging on in there. Ifrit one last lunge getting closer to him. And the inside. And Ifrit, oh, it's close as they flash past the post. Ifrit and Diamond Geezer. And if Rip may have got up on this near side, the angle can be deceptive. Did Diamond Geezer hang on? Or did If Rip collar him on the line? I think If Rip collared him on the line, I think. I think If Rip. Let's see, my money would be on. And it is indeed If Rip for the mysterious Jay Harrison. Is it or isn't it the Jay Harrison of old? Well, he's won another one anyway, whoever he is. If Rip wins it for Jay Harrison. Diamond Geezer second for Graham Clutterbuck. Brown Sugar for Derek Hinton was third and fourth was Clemmy Churchill for Paul Rhodes with Benny the Swinger for Martin Cairns back in fifth.